Good afternoon, crafty peeps. I have a new project share for you, and I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, this was a labor of love, and um, every time I make one of these, um, it's so hard for me to give it away, but I do. Um, so, let me begin by telling you the paper collection that I used was a Halloween Essentials Authentique Stack. You can get that at countrycraftcreations.com. Um, Tamara still has um, several left. So, um, if you are interested in um, making this album, the tutorial will be up in the next couple of days. I already have it ready to go. Um, I think I, I should be able to do um, one and two um, tomorrow and then the rest, I mean I've already got a video taped, I just got to edit everything. So my only suggestion is to you is to watch the video um, tutorial thoroughly before you start on your project because I'm human and um, I do make mistakes. So anyway, um, I try to um, delete uh, all the, you know, and edit it, but you know, sometimes, um, you know, this is several days worth of video, so you never know. Sometimes I get a little spaced out. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So like I said, this is a remake of my 8x8 mini uh, Mr. Chillingsworth um, mini album. And this one is a 5x7. The cover, I mean 6x7. The cover is actually larger than that, obviously, but the pages are 6x7. So let me go in um, and show you what I've made. Um, so the die cut that I did right here was the Tim Holtz Old Jalopy, which I found at, um, Tuesday morning. Um, so I just basically did several different layers of that. Um, I had a little Scully sticker in there and then I had it where he's like driving out of the graveyard. Um, I have lots of paper flowers, fabric flowers, lots of dyed flowers on here. Um, let me see why the color is not. There we go. It's a little bit better. There we go. I had to bump up the exposure a little bit. I had to turn it down for the white. Okay, so sorry if there's some strings on here. I basically just finished this today. So um, I still have to pull off some of these strings. But anyway, um, a lot of these were um, paper roses, fabric roses. Um, here's a, a paper um, mum. And I sprayed these all with Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays. And these are all the colors that I used. I don't want to make any mistakes. Um, Banshee Black. Blue Hawaiian Blue, Tibetan Poppy Teal, this one I probably use more of the Tibetan Poppy Teal than any other color, um, and of course the Banshee, and um, Bells of Ireland Green, and then the Cottail Copper Brown, or Cattail, sorry. Okay, so this little key I got um, several years ago, and it actually had the little spooky chain hanging down. I went ahead and separated it because I didn't want to cover over my Scully guy. Um, this little uh, metal Scully I've been saving. Um, I got that uh, several years back too from probably Michaels or something like that. This was definitely from Michaels. All I did was um, cut it apart and attach it here. Um, I've got some of this gray, um, I don't want you to call it some sort of like yarn. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry if I'm getting retarded, but usually uh, it, I don't do videos this late. Um, then I have some um, Excelsior from the Dollar Tree that I sprayed with the green and the copper color. And then here is the side. I just had some of this. Um, this is actually from the Michaels. They had a clearance on their yarn. And so I got all these three colors and I loved it. Um, then I just made a little chain here for Chunky Charm. It's got lots of little different charms on here. Um, it's got like the all seeing eye, some keys, crosses little envelopes, all sorts of things up in here. I'm trying to think. 
Oh, the little uh, palmistry hand. You can you can barely even see that on this video here. Little palmistry hand, all sorts of cute stuff. And then here's the back. I just used some ribbon here, and there's the back. No closure needed for this book, surprisingly so. Um, I really love how the front came out. I worked um, quite a few hours on this, and um, I'm really happy with that, with how it came out. I used some of the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter in black. Um, this fence right here is a wooden fence from Saw Crafters. Um, and here, let's go. Let's just open it up. Let's get on in here. So first of all, this is magnetic. I made this little poison that will hold wallets. You could put a photo here if you wanted to. And then you have a space here and here to do photos. This opens up also, there's this whole album is magnetic, so, um, and last time I used Velcro. And then you have a little tag from the collection. Excuse all the fuzzies that I have. And then I made like a little tuck spot and there's like a little piece of candy. That I got from Walmart. Um, they probably have some. It was over in the party section. It was just considered confetti. So that was really neat. Each one of these has a double sided mat. And this actually is um, cardstock from the collection. This one right here. And then on top of black. And then the tab die I used is the We Are Memory Keepers tab die. Of course, the glue that I used, um, and I used score tape, all came from Tamara Store. Um, Art glitter glue, love it. I made this little pocket that you can put photos in, or receipts, or ticket stubs, whatever you want to put in there. And here's like another one of those little confetti things. Um, and then I got some of the stickers um, that were like the 3D stickers from Hobby Lobby, their brand. Um, and I really thought they were cute. So you could put a photo here, photo here. Here is a little um, flip up. You can put a photo here or journal. And then I have two little spots where you can have, it's a double sided mat. Two little pockets that hold a four by six and probably a three and a half by five. Actually, no, this is a journaling card. My bad, <laughs> I lied. Okay, and then it just closed back up. Another mat. Oh, you know what, yeah, okay. Sorry, sometimes I, I forget what I do when I make these, it's so crazy. Okay, so then you have a little flap here and a little door, a um, little tag holder, a uh, mat here, mat or journaling here, mat there, and then it just goes back like so. And then this is a little swing tab where you can swing it whatever way you want to. The pumpkin just swings. <laughs> and then you can add um, some journaling here. You have a little, a little pocket, a little photo mat, okay, and then it swings back, and then it flips, so this is magnetic, and you have an, a place to put a photo right here, mat, and then that's it, another pull out. And then, sorry, it's pretty chunky. So this goes like this on both sides, okay? But I'm not gonna swing it on both sides and it just kind of does that. And then it's magnetic right here. So it opens up to a full mat. And you can do some journaling here, add photos. I probably would add photos. And then here, it's another swing tab. Photo here, photo here, and here. And then, actually what's cool about this is, swing it back up and it folds down. You have a little pocket here to just hold your photos. And another photo mat, I know it's hard to see, but it's there. Another mat.
I know it took me two years to do this video right, and then I didn't even do an 8x8, but that's okay. <laughs> um, my uh, swap partner that this is going to, um, Mona, I hope she likes it. Um, like I said, I, I love making this, and it, it always kills me to give it away, but I do. And uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so it, see, I told you, I forget what I do. And I love the little haunted house here. So you can put a photo here, photo here, and then, you know, just put them out there. Little belt buckle here. I love the little crow. That was some more of the, um, in my tutorial I mentioned it. That was the Walmart confetti on chipboard. Thought they were really cool. Okay. And then I have another one of the stickers. So you could journal here, you know, do whatever. More journaling. Or you could do those um, little uh, photos from school. Little wallet size work there. And then you have another spot. You could journal here. Another pocket. Double sided mat. Then again, another double sided mat. And then we're getting to the end. Then we just have your belly band page. Double sided mat. We have a little pocket page here with another double sided mat. I love the bats and the spider web. Love it. And I love how some of these words are like glowing um, Halloween, ghost, costume, August moon, fright, haunted. But that was really cute. And that is the end. So I hope you all love it as much as I do. Um, as I said, the tutorial is going to be up in the next couple of days. I think I need to glue this down just a little bit stronger there. I thought I did, man. I glued it like a bunch of times. Anyway. <laughs> And needless to say, I will take care of that in just about two seconds. I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. I hope you all love the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.